So, I don't know if you guys know this project. Um, this thing's pretty much just been sitting around. Um, I was missing parts when I started putting it together. Um, this is um, V1 Creighton. It's got a, a V5 body on it. Um, but I picked this thing up because the whole reason I picked this thing up, and let me show you, I've been working on body mounts already today because I could never get this body to work on it because it's a V1 and it takes different mounts, um, which I learned later on. But I picked up a roller, which wasn't even really a roller. It didn't have wheels on it. It didn't have a lot of stuff on it. It was just a basic V1 chassis that uh, Deontay Hives had and he sent it my way because I needed it because EMP Performance had sent me this brace and a few other things um, and wanted me to test, test them out. Um, but they don't work on a V2 uh, or a V3 or a V4 or a V5. I think they work on a V1 or a V2. Um, and I believe this, this might be a V2. Uh, but it's it's the same as basically a V1, I guess you would say. So, um, Deontay, I bought it from him, and I started doing a build on it. I started fabricating it and putting all this stuff together. Got The biggest thing was figuring out this brace and how it went on here. Um, and then, of course, wheels and other things, but I did I never had... The right drive shafts. Now Deontay was supposed to send them to me, and I, he did, um, and I finally got them. But I'm not sure if these are them. So it's been it's literally been so long. Like I said, I do these little dishes with hardware, and this, and I had this on top of. I was waiting on a body and a few other things. This thing's got a steering problem that. Uh, that I was trying to figure out it was uh, stiff or something was going on with it um, but something something with the steering wasn't right yeah it would it would bind up so I've got an issue with the steering I've got to figure out I still got to mount down the motor um, it, it has this old school motor mount um, for this setup so, um, I've got to get a gear on it, got to get bolts in it, got to get that mounted down. Um, just little things like that. I got a receiver I still got to put in it, um, but it's got no drivetrain yet. So, what I need to do today, and that's why these four bolts are out, I'm going to bust it back apart now that I got the basic thing going on. I don't want to film the whole process. Um, I just figured I'd turn on the camera and show what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on the camera when I get to parts that just I feel you guys should know. This is going to be a cool build um, that I plan on giving my son. It's got these extra fat tires on it, which really I ran on my V4 Creighton for the first year. Um, it never had issues, um, and it was fun, but the factory tires definitely um, will stop it from breaking. I never broke mine with these, but I was very, I guess, wasn't sending it as hard as you should. Um, I would just kind of jump it and, and bash around with it. Um, bounce off walls, bounce off trees, and these worked really good, and I never broke the V4. But I ended up throwing the stock tires back on, so I had these laying around. So I figured, throw them on this build. They're definitely some fat fat trenchers so and that's why I like them and so there we go I'm gonna get to uh, doing some wrenching first thing I'm gonna do is get off the wing uh, so I can get off this brace um, I'm gonna get the steering repaired 
and then I'm going to get this motor and some gears and get these drive shafts in there. So that's what I'm going to do first um, because I really want to finish this project. It's it's one of the one of the RCs that I just haven't got around to finishing. And I figure I have time since I'm uh, I haven't been well. Figure you know what? I'll do a little bit of wrenching. Be nice to uh, finish this thing. Now Deontay just kind of slap this thing together really quick and send it out to me. So I'm just going through everything, making sure diffs and everything are, are lubed and, and are right. Because as you see, that diff has got no fluid in it. And neither does the front one. That stuff is super thin. Whatever's in it. So I'll eventually have to open up the diffs and see what's inside those things. Because it doesn't feel like anything good is inside of them. Um, I wonder if I can get off. I thought I had to use a, like a special socket. Yeah. That's probably why I've had that socket on there so long. nuts these nuts well that's in the way too and I found that's a uh, that's what's been hard about this thing is that like all the stuff that's on the v4 and v you know and the exb um I find a lot more stuff's in the way on this one. Like this mount, I never had to take out to take those screws out on my V5. We just did it. I just did a rear diff in it, and I didn't have to pull this off to get that screw out. But on this one, I do. It's these little, little differences that are huge differences. Just one of those things that are cranked in way too tight. It's like the wrong bolt. God. So. brace out of here. Like, why do I have to take off this silly bracket to get that brace off, you know? Like, it should have been slotted a little better or something. I don't know. And then I still have to drill three holes in the chassis, which are now marked, um, to get that going properly. So let's see if any of these drive shafts are right. So, yeah, that one will work. And then that's in the wrong spot. That top plate is not connect it right uh, yeah and that one will work too that's pretty cool so I have that held down with with the old I'm going to redo that and make that a little stronger. So let's see. See, this is still... Oh, that just fell out.
pushing. this silly looking motor mount. Well, let me get some gears and some hardware. We'll be right back. I'll start it in a, in a few. out pretty good. Another thing I see is that this one has a screw in it. This one does not. to get that fixed as well and the front ones are missing the screws as well which I think I have some M2C ones it's all these little things so here's some uh, universal droop screws 1A scale for this Because it's missing droop screws. Pretty interesting. All right, I'll click the camera on when uh, I accomplish a little more. All right, just uh, popped in the receiver. So now I'm gonna turn on my Futaba. We're gonna program another channel. 
we're gonna have to call this see that's exp on the list number three slash i rock model 15 model name this would be creighton v1 There we go. You can see the steering can't even turn it. That's how tight it is. All right, now it's going to be time to fix the steering next. At least the one I need is on the bottom. I need a little box, I'll tell you that. All right. So, electronics are all done. Now, God, I just need to uh, pull the front apart and fix the steering. So, Gonna have to put some bearings and spacers and something's going on in here. Something with the servo saver, all that is literally just it's tight. This should flop around easy and it doesn't. start fixing the steering now because that's all we have left I'm gonna get this screw out of here so it doesn't fall and we're gonna fix the steering next but I just turned everything off we got the steering fixed I guess I can turn it all back on that's ridiculous so what was going on is that the droop screws, since the droop screws weren't in there, I had to take the control arms off, put droop screws in there because it was hanging too far, bind in the axles. 
and I don't have the wheels bolted down yet. So that's the next thing. But there you go. Steering's fixed now. It is uh, going to be a little lazy because uh, it's like a $20 Servox plastic servo. So I'm going to get the wheels put back on and uh, then we're going to go through some of the settings. Put a battery in it and, uh, and give it a little test rip. I should probably pull the rear apart because it's only got a droop screw on one side. And uh, I can tell that the axles are doing the same thing in the front. They're just overextended. It needs those droop screws. And then I have to adjust the front ones up a little bit. But there we go. We'll be back. All right. So here it is, finally. Uh, the V1 that Deontay sold me, the chassis. Finally got it all up and going. I gotta turn up this brake rate. Brakes is a hundred. Go to 120. It's better. So I'm gonna have to go in the programming of this and up the brakes. I think I have it set up for speed runs. really need a better steering servo but my son's gonna have to deal with this because it's really slow to the to the left it'll get there you just got to hold it and the right is pretty good but these uh, cheap steering servos now I know why I took them out should probably go buy one today and I definitely got to put a wheelie bar on this thing Something didn't sound good when I hit that trigger. I think I got a diff issue. I'm pretty sure I do. The way it felt last night. The diffs aren't shimmed right. I heard it skip. But these are the things you're faced with when you buy stuff used, and that's why I never buy it used. I've got so much money into this thing now. But it's for my son, so I really didn't care. Looks so good with the new body. Now, Deontay sent me a body, but just, it was not the right body. I might want to buy a, I might have to get him some regular Creighton tires. So all the diff fluids will have to be changed. Center diff is really weak. Rear diff doesn't feel like anything's in it. Front diff feels dry too. Wow.
I tried to turn it and the delay is so fast. Like, just a weak steering servo. Got a little kick to it on 6S. Wow. Definitely not a parking spot. Twenty tooth might be a little too much. Might have to stick some game changers on this thing. Let's feel this motor. I don't even have the body uh, like secure yet. I mean, it's pinned on. Don't get me wrong. I just got to put the set screws through. Yeah, she's a little warm. Nothing out of nothing too bad, but for that little rip, that that's warm. So there we go, guys. Let me get out of here while all these darn cars are still coming. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the golf cart. Seven, eight, nine cars. And I'll go inside and it'll be a ghost town out here. So they're literally just here pulled over to watch the RC. But I got to get some grub screws in the back. I got to get a better steering servo. And then I got to go through all the diffs, which is going to suck because taking that top brace off to get to the center diff to make any kind of changes really sucks. And then I've got to put the body bolts in and I want to get a front bumper for it that like an EXB front bumper. I don't know if I can put it on this chassis. Hopefully I can. And let's see game changer fans, of course. But there we go guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully this video is not too long. I just wanted to show you guys it running. Um, I've literally, I started this project. I started doing videos on that brace and ran into all kinds of issues. And so I set the project off to the side and my son literally cleaned the area when I was at work to be nice to dad and we lost everything. So found everything. Well, most of everything, but it's all back together. I'm happy. He's going to have a crate in here soon. I am going to run it on 6S, um, 4 and 6S, and it should be fun. Let me know down in the comments. Should I put the crate and wheels on or should I keep the wide wheels on? If I keep the wide wheels on, I have a feeling possibly can break it. I don't know how strong these control arms are versus the V4 control arms, but maybe it'll be okay i'm just you know i never had a v1 brand new so i don't know and that was the purpose of buying one and throwing the blx system in it but there we go guys like comment subscribe and we will see you guys on my next video thanks for watching